Welcome back to Undertale, everybody! So, Tariel has a surprise for us. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on a snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Oh, I'm going this way. Ooh. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of fervor atta human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named... Home. As great as our keen is, he is pretty lousy at names. <laughs> the ends of tools have been filed down to make them safer. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. I will. Oh, I, I won't, actually. Seems like the right size for Tareel. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Uh-oh. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. There's a Twix bar in there? Dane! Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. The stovetop is very clean. Tariel must use fire magic instead. <laughs> also, Abby has a very big head. I'm going downstairs. <laughs> hey, do not go down here. I have something to show you upstairs. Okay. Convenient way to not make me progress in the game. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Alright. You have seen this type of plant before, but you do not know its name. What's my room like? What the heck? It's a breast cancer awareness room. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Uh, I didn't want to do that. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Box of kids shoes in a disparity of sizes. <laughs> What's in here? Another bedroom. Just a regular old bucket of snails. It's Tariel's diary. Read the circle passage? Yeah, you read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling BONELY. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. I want to read them! I want to read them! Oh, darn it. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sunder of plants. You peek inside. Scandalous! It's Tariel's sock drawer! <laughs> it's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open it to the middle. Tifa, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. More known more commonly as water sausages. Okay. Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. Interesting. Tariel's small chair. Its name is Sheriel. Okay, then. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. Oh! It is a water sausage! It's you! <laughs> nice reflection! Not something you'd expect from an 8-bit game like this. Okay, now I am totally going downstairs. I think you should play upstairs instead. Okay, seriously, are you keeping a monster in there? I mean, like, oh, that's awkward. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. 
This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Um, sure. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. Oh. How do we exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. Uh-oh. She, is she trying to kidnap me? This is not good. I'm going downstairs! You wish to know to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Heck no! Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. This is a game, I can't go back to my room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. To real. Come on. You want to leave so badly? Hmph. <laughs> You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh, dang! Tyrael blocks the way. Alright. Let's check her out. Tyrael, attack 80! Defense 80! Oh, no! I am so dead! Ah! Tyrael takes a deep breath. Oh, no. Hey, let's talk about this. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Hoodin! Alright. Slap you face. How did I not burn up into there? Oh, my. <laughs> no! Oh, I'm so dead. Tyrael prepares a magical attack. Ugh. This is hard. Tyrael is acting aloof. Uh, I'm gonna eat my pie now. You ate the butterscotch pie. Your HP was maxed out. Shoot. I probably should have saved that. Tyrael prepares a magical attack. Hey, Tyrael. Smack. Ah! Ow! How the heck do you dodge that? Ow. I probably should have eaten some of the monster candy. Tyrael looks for you. Okay, she's holding back. No! Not again! Tyrael is acting aloof. Hey, Tyrael. Slap. Ouch. Alright, I need to eat my monster candy. 10 HP, not bad. <laughs> I think the key is just to get hit by her hands. That deals much less damage. Ow! Fire! I hate fire! There we go. Not this attack. No. Please, no! 
How did I avoid damage there? How? Whoa, what happened? Uh... You are stronger than I thought. I didn't want to kill you! Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. I feel so bad for her. Asgore. Do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? My child. I feel so... No! I did not want to kill her! I just wanted to beat her within an inch of her life and then talk to her and save her life! Was that too much... Did I seriously slap her to death? I can't decide if that's so sad or hilariously, like, unexpected. Well. Alright then. I wasn't expecting to do 300 damage from one slap because, I don't know, every other slap I've ever done has only dealt, like, 25 damage. Seriously. You again! Hee 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 hee. I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans. But when it came down to it... Hey, hey. She couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. <laughs> Don't mock the dead, you doofus. Oh, I wanted to slap you. Well, all right then. Undertale. So I was not trying to kill her by Toby Fox. Huh? There's a camera hidden in the bushes. What? That's weird. I'm in the woods though, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I like that detail. It's a stick! It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Oh, come on! Who's following me? I saw that! Oh, this is not good. Hey! Are you the skeleton in the hoodie that I'm gonna befriend? Human. Don't you know how to get faster text for this? Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Alright. I'll do that. Him. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? I love this guy's text sound. That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate, Feeny. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. <laughs> Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is great. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. 
You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp? It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. Oh, I know a great game you can play. It's called I Want to Be the Guy. I will capture a human. And then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. <sighs> Maybe this lamp will help you. Science! You are not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton! Oh my gosh, I can't handle this. Also, my voice is going out. Oh man, this is great. I can see why these guys are so popular on Facebook. <laughs> Sands! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it! <sighs> why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Well, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone! I love this guy. Ugh! I will attend to my puzzles! As for your work, put a little more backbone into it! Yeah! <laughs> okay, you can come out now. <laughs> this guy's great. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I want to do that. Hey, got a nickel? It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Weird. I want to take the lamp with me. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Nothing weird about it. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kinda down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you just might make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. <laughs> oh, this is great. I love this game so much. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Use the box? Yeah! Ooh, a tough glove? Can I equip that? I'll put some monster candy in. Tough glove, weapon attack 5. A worn pink leather glove for five-fingered folk. Alright. Let's equip it! You equip Tough Glove! When you're doing some mud, stop and train you with your thumb, it's Tough Gum. Hey, it's a stick! Stick! Weapon attack zero! Its bark is worse than its bite! Oh ho 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 ho! Let's put the stick in here. Who's this? Snow Drake flutters forth. Let's check him out. Snowdrake, attack 12, defense 7. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Chill out. <laughs> ho, ho, let me tell you a joke. I'll laugh at your joke. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laugh! Dad was wrong. Snowdrake is pleased with its cool joke. Hey, Snowdrake, let me tell you a joke of my own. You make a bad ice pun. I've heard that one. Oh, oh no! Snowdrake is pleased with its cool joke. Let's mercy it. You won! You earned 12 gold, but no experience. I need to kill more stuff. So, as I was saying about Undyne... What is going on? <laughs> Sans! Oh my gosh! Is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. 
<laughs> oh, hey, what's that in front of the rock? <laughs> oh my gosh, is is that a human? Yes. Oh my gosh, Sans, I finally did it. I died, Will. I'm gonna. I'll be so popular, popular, popular. Him, human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then, then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. <laughs> oh my. Let's go up instead. Oh, fishing pole! It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yeah. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird-looking monster. Call me! Here's my number! You decide not to call. Why not? What could go wrong? <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm enjoying this game so much. Who is it? It's Ice Cap! Hey, Ice Cap, let's check you out! 11 attack, 4 defense, this team wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Where's your hat? Oh my gosh, what's this? It's two sinusoidal waves. Hey, Ice Cap, slap you face. What a great hat, mine. I hit, I hit that! Ah! Ice Cap, make sure its hat is still there. Hey, Ice Cap. Your head looks so naked. Ow! Sinusoidal wave. I was not expecting that. It's snowing dandruff. Snow? No, it's hat residue. I love the battle system in this. Ice Cap's hat is loose. Hey, Ice Cap. Oh, Dane, you won! You earned 17 XP and 17 gold. Oh, the hand I have! It lets me slap multiple times. That's amazing. Absolutely no moving! It's a dog! Did someone move? Was it my imagination? I could only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Hi, Doggo! What's up? Doggo, attack 13, defense 7, easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. <laughs> Don't move an inch. And I didn't. Doggo can't seem to find anything. <laughs> hey, I'm Doggo! Ah! Will it move this time? No, it won't. <laughs> this is so great! <laughs> Doggo can't seem to find anything. <laughs> Hey, let's pet the dog. You pet, doggo. What? I've been pet. I don't know. No, 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 no. Back. Get back. Doggo has been pet. Okay. I'll oh, mercy you. You won. You earned zero XP and 30 gold. So, 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 something pet me. Something that isn't b -b moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Someone's been smoking dog treats? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, but here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move it. It won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Okay, I will. Okay, ice is not that slippery. North ice, south ice, west ice, east, stone town, and ice. Sweet. It's a snowman! Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called 
sweeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh ho, the human arrives in order to stop you. My brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sounds like fun, because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. <laughs> what? Science, what did you do? I think the human has so to hold the orb. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, this game is great. Hold this, please. Oh no, how will I ever know how to get through the maze? Okay, try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily, too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. Yeah. That guy makes, that guy really hurts my voice to do his voice. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Yeah. What the heck? It's Archibald the Ice Cream Man, apparently. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some ice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 G. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got the ice cream. Oh, I can't look at the rock. Let's push this snowball around, shall we? Oh, hey now, we want to talk to Sans. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Yeah, sure. Did I say 5G? I'm at 50G. No. You're right. That's still too low. <laughs> I wonder what happens if you actually buy it. Maybe I'll do that uh, another time. Get in the hole. It's a hole in one! It looks like a snowball! Actually, it's a snow decahedron! Oh, that's an important difference. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sands! Where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground! Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Monster Kids Word Search! I see! Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? <laughs> no way! <laughs> no! <laughs> I can't deal with this! Oh my gosh. Sans, that didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew it should have been used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. <laughs> what? Really, dude? That is super easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Uh, unbelievable. A human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Oh, the crossword's harder. You two are weird! <laughs> Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore! <laughs> Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stuck trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Yay, it's a save point. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Furrowy japed again by the great Papyrus. Yeah. Papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. <laughs> what the heck? And a mouse hole. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. Well, as hilarious as this game is and as much fun as I'm having, I have to end the episode off here because it's been a long episode. Thanks for watching! I'm Color 40 and oh my gosh, this is easily one of my favorite games I've ever played. Tune in for the next episode. Have a great day and God bless!